Oh, 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 oh. And with that, we welcome you once again to the warehouse in beautiful Jersey City, New Jersey. It is time for Blitzball Battle 5, presented to you by DraftKings, alongside Kelsey Winger and Pita Moylan. I am Chris Rose. Pita, it is good to be reunited as we see Team Baggett take on We Got Ice. Ready? I cannot wait for this. It's been so long. It's been too long. This is what gets me up in the morning. I am fired up. Let's go. We Got Ice will be in the field first. Baggage will be hitting. And one of the new rules this year, we have an extra defender. So Ryan Cohn from John Boy Media will be the designated fielder. Unbelievable rude train. I love it. This almost makes it three on three without having to add extra guys. It's beautiful play by the bosses. I can't wait to see how it plays out. That means the pitching rules resort back to what we saw in Blitzball Battle 3. The maximum outs you can get in a game is four. That means a second pitcher will be relied upon. Two-time Cy Young Award winner Jack Doyle on the mound against Jake Storiali, a former league MVP, and he's got a knock on the first pitch of the season. We got action, Rosie. We got action. What a swing. Much needed for Storiali, who even though he hit 450, which was above league average a year ago, it really wasn't the usual Jake. Singles have never been the problem for this team, Chris. That's, that's been the story for the last two tournaments. They've got to start hitting the ball with some slug. In fact, in steps Jim, Jimmy O'Brien. Last year, 21 plate appearances did not have an extra base hit. Ooh, oh, he takes one. All right. High and tight. That's Message a, pitch. Sure. That, I guess me, the message is I need a raise. Or I'm just trying to throw strikes. Oh. Ooh. See, Jimmy, Jimmy's antsy. As for Jack Doyle, dominant inside the warehouse walls, but his eight runs allowed last season, the most he's ever allowed in a blitz ball battle. Oh, jammed him nicely. That's a couple of really, really good pitches. You saw that Jimmy was fired up to swing with the way that he took the last pitch, and then that was just a complete sank piece. Oh, oh. did he pull the string? Nice. Protect, protect. Hey, you were on there. Nasty movement go, on that pitch by Doyle. Little tapper. Oh, yeah. Easy play for Doyle, and that'll do it for the first out of the game. Jimmy really struggles with that down and in. It is time right now for the pitch mix, presented to you by DraftKings. Jack Doyle. Now, this is going to be strange because he was just up here earlier telling him he's only got two pitches, but he says he's got a two-seam, a slider, a four-seam riser, a curve, and a knuckle drop. But That's not two. Just look for two, I think. Two pitches and just try to dial it up on each side. Oh, so he's doing the uh, I don't know. the in thing of tunneling. Maybe. Okay. But we'll you've see. got more to tunnel with if you're going to throw these six pitches. I'm just not sure. Oh, so the uh, the pitching coach in you questioning Doyle. I like it. Ah, yeah. Velo oh, again. Uh, Jake going with the Sandlot look with the hat backward. Fresh so shave. Looks like he's 12. Another got little got tapper, it. Doyle, an easy play. He's sinking it a lot. Ground ball, he is, he's got a lot of movement on that. So after an opening move. knock, back-to-back -back yeah. grounders to the pitcher, and baggage. Boy, when you're the first team up and you do not score and put any pressure. It's trouble. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and look at this, a pitching change already. Interesting strategy as Zoe is coming out of the bullpen with one on and two out. What do you think? I love it. I think Zoe, look, get Zoe loose. They've got two outs and there's only a runner on first. You just said it. If they can escape this without giving up a run, it sets them up beautifully for the rest of this game. The pitching line for Zoe last season, not pretty. He allowed 10 runs on 11 hits. I can't let hits. you read my lips or pitches. i got to, like, shut up. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> well, it okay. says it in the stat pack. You might right. want to look at it. Ah, there's that game. research. That's, <laughs> that's what you said about research. Okay, got it. Sorry I'm in. About that. And, guys, right. talking to Jack game Doyle game. before the game, this tournament bet. he decided he wanted to start um, calling Zoe Zollip. So you might be hearing um, some different terminology. Zoe does not like the nickname. The Jack spot, is enforcing yeah. it. Go. He go. says go. that they just have to do something different. Obviously, we've talked about the donut, so they're switching up the names. Switching up the strategy. They just don't know how yet. That sounds like something on the menu today. I, I don't know exactly what that is. All right, so two out. Jimmy stepping in against Zoe. Good eye, good eye. 
So accuracy really wasn't the issue last yeah, season with Zoe. It's just the fact that he got his balls kicked in by every batter. <laughs> great, great. Sorry, I'm already hitting the Bally Spine Show. Oh. <laughs> you are. Uh, but you know what? I'll swing. pay your fines. That was beautiful. That's a big swing. That's a big swing. That was a big swing. Jimmy's got to turn it down. I think Jimmy, I'm not sure. He just gets so amped up. He wants to win so bad. Nice. Oh, can, went down and chased it. And this is a good right. matchup go. for bad. Jimmy historically. Bad. Eight for 11 with a couple of doubles and five walks in his career against Zoe. Brett Gardner, Brett Gardner. What the fuck is that swing? <laughs> Ball hit, ah. and it oh. falls. That takes a lot of pressure off Jimmy now. I really think that's going to open the floodgates. That really does feel good for Jimmy. He was feeling it. Those first two pitches, you could see it. You want to stay in? It's a good swing. Now, more importantly, does Zoe stay in the game to face Jake Storiali? Yes, I would oh, wow. let, him, let him go. Really? Yes. Story Ali just three for eight against Zoe all time. There's effectively a base open. They're known for hitting singles. Let them hit their single. If the bases do end up loaded, then you bring in Jackie. Well, Jake does have two homers in his career against Zoe. And he looks at ball one. Jake, a dozen homers, most in the history of the warehouse. Ooh, deep breath. Another tapper, and oh. so oh, it was nervous, but so got it done. I was confident. So baggage threatens, but leaves a couple stranded. Don't tell anybody that I tripped. <laughs> we are rocking and rolling here in game one of Blitzball Battle 5. I tripped, I'm sorry, okay? I'm not an athlete. More coming your way, but first a word from DraftKings. It's time for target practice, brought to you by DraftKings. Three balls, three throws, most points win. Hey, Baba Booey. Okay, felt cute though. Nice release. Seven, let's see if it holds up. We want to give a big shout out to our BB5 presenting sponsor, DraftKings. Download the DraftKings app now and use promo code WAREHOUSE when you sign up. That's promo code WAREHOUSE only at the DraftKings Sportsbook. Ow! <laughs> Bottom of the first in a scoreless game and baggage will start with Jimmy O'Brien on the mound. I grunt. I apologize in advance. Don't apologize, will you? Stop! Now what sort of... Come on, he's already thinking with a loser mentality. I can't even hear it. Come on. He says he James? grunts. He grunts, I think that's what he said. Oh, is that what he said? Yeah. I thought he said I'm giving up five runs. No, I thought he said he grunts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so step it in. Oof. <laughs> Look at a, a message pitch over his head. Look, I spent a lot of time with James yesterday just walking and talking through the Run city. He's locked in. He's ready for this moment. He's been working on pitching more than anything else. So last season, of course, had an explosive first game. Might as well see one, unless it's a meatball. It was the Reggie Jackson game, if you will, where he hit three homers, and then after that, not a ton. Ah, shit. Sorry, Joe. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to see a strike here, if I'm honest. I've just built Jimmy up a fair bit. In my open. There oh, he nice. is. Beautiful off-speed work. Ah, it's like we're locked in. Let's go. I love that. Let's go. Just like that swing, that pitch is going to get him dialed in. 49 miles an hour. I yeah. love it. Here you go, Jimbo. Even Jamie Moyer's at home saying, God, that shit's slow. Damn it, there's my fine jar again. Ah, shit. Totally worth it. He gets another one, too. Yeah. I mean, that fine jar's going to... We said pizza. It might be lobster and caviar yeah, at this point. Yeah. <laughs> for the editors, five-star dining for them, courtesy of the foul mouth crew. And just like that, We Got Ice has its first base runner. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. And now you're bringing up the guy that led the league in RBI last season, actually tied with Dan Rourke. Of all Who? people. You, no, no joke. This is why I don't research, Rosie. 
Why? Because you don't believe it? Or you don't want to believe it? I don't want to believe that. Okay. O'Brien having a tough time dialing it in in the early going after a long off season. I sometimes forget that like double zero isn't a real number. Kind of just like made it up. Ball hit up the middle and it gets past O'Brien and into center field. So the first two men are on. He's going to tell you he should have made that play. It's a tough one. It was a bit of a rocket if I'm honest. Ball middle. Stays inside the ball so well. That's, that's the toughest thing to do in this warehouse, is to try and keep your hands inside and stay up the middle. So two on, no out for Zo. Jim, that's not even pitching. And that's obviously with the now new designated fielder in play, part of the decision-making process is where do we put a guy out there? That's true. You can put him anywhere you want on the field. No restrictions. And Ryan Cohen, a good high school ball player, he was a shortstop. We were all shortstops once, Rosie. Good pitch. Not all of us. Uh, Some of us were picking splinters off of ourselves for sitting on the bench for nine innings. I've moved on. Clearly. <laughs> oh, that's a good pitch. Nice. That's, a good, that's the only pitch he seems to be able to throw for a strike right now. He does hold it. So weird. He's got two fingers, kind of holds it like a changeup, and he tried to tell me what he does with his... Go, I, I didn't want to hear it. Let's but go, it's a strike, nonetheless. Let's go. Yeah, a little extra grunt on that one. Oh, no. So I like that the one little back. pause, too. It's like Cueto Nestor-esque. It's definitely not Nesta. He hasn't once looked like he was going to fall backwards and land on. I mean, there's a couple of times where I was thinking, Nesta, you're going to go. Zoe wants that pitch back, by the way. Well, he can't have it. That's not in the rule book, which you have not read either. 2-2. Two -two. Oh. That ball hit. Yeah. Oh, nice play what a by play. Nice play. Oh, he might have hurt himself. Oh, he might need a minute here. Oh, no. Look at him. This is what happens. Yep. I think he might have landed on the microphone, giving himself a bit of a cork. We call that a cork. A what? A cork. Are you sure that's what you called it? Yes, C-O-R-K, cork. Look at the late. He tried to go fastball to finish it. Wow, nice play. And so there is the first out for Team Baggage. And time right now for our SeatGeek Warehouse Cup standings. Hook line sinkers, McFlurry, Power, Love Ya, and Woogas, the only four teams that could actually win the inaugural Warehouse Cup. And down at the bottom, we got Ice, Baggage, Del Caribe. If they don't score any points by at least making the semifinals here in Blitzball Battle 5, they're coming back next season with a skunk patch. And there you see, by the way, the only banner won by Team Love. Is anybody up here help them? I'm a little, look, I I had my hand in it. <laughs> hey, nice pitch. Oh, uh, yeah. Did, did they talk about it over in Australia, by the way? Look, I've tried to, I've sent it to every media outlet I can. No one's run with it as yet. But I'm going to be there soon, so maybe I can do it myself. Oh, the big pause. Ah, fuck. Mm. Okay, Jack, okay. Here you go. Hey, quick hands, Jack, quick hands. Drive the ball. See, I don't think he told us earlier that sorry about the grunts. I think so. Yeah. I got no control of that one right now. He's not pitching around Doyle, is he? No, 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 he's frustrated right now. Okay. Unless he just said he is. You're all right, you're all right. Doyle hitting over 400 against Jimmy O'Brien. Ah. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, nice work. Good Again. By the way, we've seen four outs recorded in this game. Not one via the strikeout. First time ever something like that is happening. You're talking ball. my language. Ah. Ooh. Chicks dig the ground balls. All right, bases loaded now. One out. And O'Brien in a heap of trouble. He is in a heap of trouble, but he's also a couple of ground balls away from not being in that trouble. We've seen a lot of balls in play. So had a pretty good swing off Jimmy last about, I gotta be honest. If he throws that curveball somewhere close, it could be trouble. So smashes it in. 
We have our first run of the season. I hit that ball so hard. <laughs> it's all right. Dan won. I should have caught. It's okay. That's the warehouse for you. I hit that ball like 130 miles an hour. And it was foul to a single. So, so gets him on the board with a knock. Just a single here off the banner, right in between where the players were. That's the tough part about this warehouse. You just have to know where it's going to kick, and you don't. So first run on the board, still only one down for Doyle. Hey. Like the thought. Like the thought. Hey, no ground out here. You're going to swing. Swing hard. So much must be going on in Jimmy's head. The gravity of the situation in terms of what has happened There's or, history, or Rosie. not happened here in the warehouse. Exactly. It just eats at him. Every time he leaves one of these tournaments without doing anything, he just gets more and more frustrated. Oh, yeah. That ball hit, and it falls. So another run for We Got Ice. Crazy that the third fielder hasn't come into play really yet. Honestly. All these knocks. Yeah. Come on. What'd you like, bro? All right, get ahead. You've been behind like every at bat. Try. I know, I know, I know. Let's get a double. Let's get a double before Jake comes in. Baggage has got to get out of this with their inability to string together extra base hits. Well, they didn't score. Here you go, Jimbo. Good feet. You can see Jimmy wearing it. Really can. Just needs this out. No, we don't want that. All right. Here you go, Jimbo. Here you go, Jimbo. Story Ali trying to provide a little uh, emotional burst for his buddy. That ball's hammered, and it's gone. So, with a grand slam, it'll only show five on the scoreboard because of the rules. But so, sending a dagger baggage's way. Almost sent one our way, too. I'm not sure if you realize where that hit, but I didn't see it until late and almost lost my head. But what a swing by Zo. I should have caught that throw off the wall too. Yeah. I had no jump on it. Oh, that's the new Bermuda Triangle. Five nothing after one inning. And a quick reminder that Blitzball Battle 5 is presented to you by SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek, the number one rated ticketing app around. Did you know there are more than 70,000 events daily on SeatGeek? That includes concerts and sporting events and festivals and oh so much more. And with football now in full swing, you do not want to miss out. SeatGeek has your tickets to every game. In fact, SeatGeek puts your tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying simple and also rates every ticket on a scale of 0 to 10 to make sure you're getting the best deal possible. So you see a green dot, wow. that means good. Red dot, no good. bad. We also have a special offer for our warehouse community. Use the code WAREHOUSE10. You're going to get 10% off your tickets at SeatGeek. That is 10% off any purchase with the promo code WAREHOUSE10. Whether you're a first-time SeatGeek customer or not, make sure you click the link in the description. Download the app today. We'll see you at a game near you. Kelsey. Well, Zoe, when you go back to BB4, you had three home runs in the first inning, a grand slam there. What is it about the first inning and the power for you? I think, like, the adrenaline, the nerves, like, because we play in here all the, all the time. So it's like when everyone's rooting, I get really excited. But I really got to figure out my, like, home run celebrations. Every time, me and Jack talked about it pregame. Whenever I do it, like, a demon takes over my body. And that's not who I am. I've been there. <laughs> is that who Zollip is? Did Jack tell you to say that? Stop right now, Kelsey. This is not funny. <laughs> Oh. Zollip is not a real person. <laughs> well, hey, good his Zollip. But Zollip is a real person. Yeah, he wants to be called Zollip no, a lot. Please stop it, everybody. Nobody call me Zollip. <laughs> All right, Zollip. Thank you, Kelsey Wingert. What are we With doing? her plus one, by the way, doesn't Kelsey look great? She everybody? does. Huh? She does look great. Love I'll tell it. you what. If, if there's someone that's born to be a mom, you're looking at her. That away. That away. Keep adding to that John Boy family. Good to see Justin Pennick back with us. 
Yep. Of course, he has no idea where he's walking. I'm surprised he didn't walk right into the wall. All right, so Baggage needs some base runners here down a five spot. There you go. Ah. Is that already a different arm angle and pitch from Jack Doyle that he said he was going to do? Yeah, that's or? not tunneling. Yeah. Not tunneling. Oh, you know what he's good at? Lying to the broadcasters. Ah. Good take. Yeah. That's a really tough pitch. If he can actually throw that for a strike, I'm start it maybe a little bit at Jimmy's hip. Oh, and, oh wow! Over a jumping oh. Cohen. That was a laser. Hey, you got up. See that bat? Bat's got hits in it. Stay low. Bat's got hits in it. And how about Jimmy? With what, an extra base hit? Double. Something he didn't have all of Blitzball Battle 4. What are we doing? I haven't held up two fingers for these guys in a long time. All right, so base runner on for baggage and Storiali. Just got to keep the train moving, that's Eight. all. Next guy up. That's a different pitch. That's, go, Jake. all right. <laughs> How all many right. different ones have you counted today? Once again, each team will play two regular season matchups. We will have a play-in game to get to the postseason for the two worst teams, so you don't want to be out there. Peter, are these the shoes that you gave Jake? They are. Are they eight sizes too big for him? What'd no, you do? we actually have the same size foot, and Whoa. they were they were about a half size too small for me. So I thought, who needs self-lacing shoes more than Jake Storielli? That a lace. That, I thought there was something special about them. They self-lace. Is they there self -lace. a button? They, you put them on a charging kit, and there is a button that will lace them. I'm not sure if it still works based on the amount of use that he's had from those shoes, but he's wearing them. Oh, ho, ho. now that was a new pitch. That's new. Uh -huh. Yeah. That, that was fun. That's definitely not tunneling, yeah, by the way. Yeah, no, that was good, though. Hey, that was going. good. We got base runners. Yep. We all know the scenario. They have to score five runs to make this absolutely worth the second inning. Let's go. Here you go, Jim. Here you go, Jim. Hey, go at him. Go so at him. one thing you do have to keep in mind is that Zoe still has to record an out. True. So this game is not over, folks. And as you're thinking about which team might be the favorite, it's always those teams that have a second pitcher that doesn't suck. Exactly. Just don't suck. Oh, oh good to go. 2-0. Right. Go at him, Jack. Oh, Jimmy, did he check? Umpire Kyle says he did not go. Good call. I will say this, our umpires have improved significantly. Oh. I'm afraid that Major League Baseball is going to call some of these guys up. That was a brilliant call. Yeah. Ball hit it up. Oh, oh, Cohen can't make the play. And the bases are loaded. Check his chicklets. Boylan, he might have to borrow some of your fake teeth Look, after that dive. You remember last time I did lose one while I was in this warehouse, so there may be one floating around if he needs it. But... Ryan Cohen's going to have a tough time recovering from these four games if he's going to throw himself around like that. I do love yeah. the intensity. Very Drew Davis-ish. Oh, my goodness. 73. Yeah, Doyle's got to dial it back a yeah. little bit. Yeah. All right, big moment here. Story Ali. Bases loaded, down five. You know what I thought was interesting? Huh. When Zoe said, we play a lot in this warehouse, but not under these conditions. It's just a different beast when there's people screaming oh, your names. yeah. Usually it's them and Ronnie and a camera. Well, because he throws it harder because he thinks it's going to be slower, but it's not. I mean, this is an electric atmosphere. The warehouse sold out for the 437th consecutive game. We have, we have some action going on here, Chris. Yeah. I'm not sure if you're noticing what's happening. Jack, he's having a real hard time. Let's make the prediction right now. Is, is Baggage going to have to pitch? I think they're going to score four runs. Oh, really? I think they're going to get that close. They're going to get left at the altar? It's going to be a heartbreaker. Oh, man. Yeah. We're calling it now. Calling it now. I dig it, man. I dig it. That's one. 
Although we are a grand salami away, and Jimmy swung the bat pretty well last time. Jimmy, earlier this inning, his first extra base hit since Blitzball Battle 3. Good eye, good eye. Are you in, got to be in take mode right now. Hey, find one here, Jack. Just yeah, I, I don't know. I think I think if you see one spot, you're pulling the trigger. Okay. He's gotten a couple one knocks. Oh. One oh. Oh. oh, was that a play? That that might have been the best pitch of the entire Mark, game by Doyle right one. there. Boy, it's going to get interesting because we know that Zoe has been staying warm. I think he's going to come in for Story Ali. Oh! O'Brien! Look at him! Jimmy O'Brien! Look at him! He is fired up and he should be! I can't, can't waste pitches. Man, that's two good swings in a row from Jimmy. And two extra base hits. It has gotten to five to three as O'Brien just missed a game time grand slam. I've been inches away from a lot of things, but he was inches away from making them pitch. Wow! Uh, but two good swings, Rosie. <laughs> two extra base hits in the last two at-bats, something we didn't see at all, like we keep mentioning from these guys. So that's a positive. Yeah. So the two-time Cy Young Award winner, Doyle, has been pulled. Zoe is back in. He did come in with two on in the first and got the last out of the inning. All good. He only needs to get one more out in order for Doyle to finish this one up. Jimmy, what are you guys seeing off of Jack that's allowing you guys to get to him notoriously one of the best pitchers in the warehouse? I don't know. I think his adrenaline's too up. And, and it's, it's hard to pitch when your adrenaline's up. We don't get a lot of practice with adrenaline, you know. That's why I couldn't throw any of my pitches besides a fastball. But, yeah, he's searching for the zone, and then you, it's a little slower. Big hit there, Jim. Good job. Wow. In the meantime, so is dotting it. Ahead 0-2 on Story Alley. Look at this different arm angle, bit of a sidearm sinker, clips the outside corner. Oh! Oh, oh so! Three pitches, he sets down Story Alley. That's in a massive, massive situation. The fact that he didn't even swing the bat, that's just, that's, that's tough. And the unthinkable has happened. So and Jack got together. Jack is not coming back in the game, even though he's eligible to. This is what I thought. I thought maybe we're having Jack's, Jack's dealing with a, I don't know if it's the adrenaline. I don't know if it's his elbow. All right, the hot hitting Jimmy O'Brien is ahead ah. two and oh. Jimmy with a total of five hits in BB4, already has four hits. Wow. Our crack statistician, Jolly Olive, John Cox all over it as usual. Good eye, good Speaking eye. of all I'll over I'll tell you something, that's a great take. Like he's seeing the ball well right now. Not chasing. Hey! Holy hey! shit! He did it! Jimmy O'Brien has done it! Look at him! He is back! The man that built and imagined the warehouse is now living the dream on the right side of things. Go, Jimmy, go! Have your moment, James. Welcome back to the warehouse. Kelsey. A very frustrating pitching game for you, but how redeeming did it feel to come through with the bat? Three extra base hits for you after not seeing one in BB4. Or BB3 or BB2, I think. <laughs> Look at the smile. <laughs> no. Good. We're in a tough spot, so I'm not that excited, but it's good to hit. We got to get out. You know, he reminds you of Nick Markakis. You know, Peter, never gets too high, never gets too low. Well, maybe he gets too low. <laughs> <laughs> but then he won't let himself get too high. I'm just happy that the guy who's known for the breakdowns isn't having a breakdown. That's nice. Well, you know what we all need to get more of? That would be off our ass. And with bold it. flavors, a refreshing citrus kick, Mountain Dew will get you off your ass and have you feeling like you're on an actual mountain. 
A mountain where the weather is always perfect. Your friends are always ready to hang, and a day of epic proportion awaits. Like, think of all the amazing activities you like to go out and do. You could play a round of golf with your friends. You could just throw the ball in the backyard. You could play kickball with Kickball Dad, if you happen to know him. I do. He's in my cell phone. You could have a longest throw contest. You could go out and shoot hoops. You could just hang out by the water. If you've got a monitor outside and you want to bring out your gaming headset, you could go do that as well. Whatever it is, the mountain is calling, and you should answer. So grab your friends. Grab an ice-cold Mountain Dew wherever refreshing beverages are sold. And do the do. We get to the bottom of the second. Wow. It's only game one. Our prediction was wrong already. I'm off. I'm way off. Are you schwitzing yet? Yeah, there's the a little schwitz going on, but I got a nice little fan in my nether region, so we're good. Is that what that was? That's the fan. Do you, get, you getting any of that? Do I no. need to re-angle okay. it a little bit? So when you were saying you were getting a blow <laughs> underneath, that's what that was? Rosie! Sorry. Here we go. Jake Storiali making his season debut on the mound. But watch this. And oh. there is history, everybody. Even though it didn't find the strike zone, Jake Storiali, the second pitcher in Warehouse Games history with a 1,000 career pitches. Is that, written in, is that written in crayon? Is he done? Is that it? Of course not. Thank you. I, no, I don't want that on me. I don't want that on me. I hate stuff on me. <laughs> it's like my pet peeve. <laughs> There goes my hero, watch him as he goes. Did you see the new delivery, by the way? Yeah. It's very sidearm, it's very Pat Nishek, it's very Pat deliberate. Oh, 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 okay. Jack's okay. already said that the delivery's a lot quicker. Here you go, Jake. Is there some deception we've found with the glove and the new speed and the arm angle and all the rest of it? Doyle, a 657 hitter in 35 career at bats wow. against Storiali. That includes four extra base hits. Ugly, I'd completely rework my mechanics too. <laughs> oh! to chase on something nasty. It's a lot of sink on that, a lot of movement, a lot of down and in. Something we haven't seen a lot from Jake. Stay there, don't go. Stay in, stay in. I think it's the follow through as well. It's aggressive, he's moving towards the target. The 2-2. Two -two. Ball tapped, foul. I mean, if we're looking for a chance to get a zero here, I like what we're seeing so far hey, from try Jake. Try exit on the very inside if you feel comfortable. Or not stay yet. there. Not right. yet. Stay there. He's not on it. Stay there. He's just dialed in the inside. If he can throw something away now and really lock him up, he's already moved back in the box. If he throws something away, it could freeze him. Ooh. I think that's what he was You're thinking good. there. I think You're so good, too. Man. You got this, man. You're good, Jakey boy. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Hey, right on him here, right on him. Go through. The 3 2. Ah! ah! Okay. You know what it is. I haven't used the Pretty term yet this season. Non competitive. Non competitive. It's my favorite. It is. Well, it's actually not my favorite. Well, he needs to dial it back in right here. Dial it back in has been the saying we've used a fair bit. I like it. Come on, Jack. Oh! He got him looking. He got him looking. Where was that pitch, Chris? Outside and, and low. what did it do, Rosie? Ooh, it locked him up. Locked him up. Wow, what a pitch. Couldn't have placed it any better if you tried. Oh, uh, look at that. I love Story Ali's reaction, the old finger point at the Jake. end. He will remain in the game against Zoe. One out. That's a big out. Jimmy's already got the two outs, right? Oh no, it's he got oh he got mercyed. Yeah, he got mercy. Ball hit up the middle, and that's a rocket. Oh, so it's a one-out single for Zoe. What? Up and away. Yeah. Single. You're good. Huh? That was the two seam? Yeah, I think he's trying to keep it low, and that one yeah. flipped up a little yeah. bit. But try to get on top of the ball. That definitely wasn't the sinker. I think he was trying to go with something different there. But I think against Jack, we're going to see a lot more two seams. Everything going to cut inside? I think so. Till that very end, maybe he'll try to do the same sequence. 
Oh, whoa. That Mid one stayed middle. Middle, middle works too, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. That's big. Yeah. That's big. That's big. If you're Emmanuel Class A. <laughs> and throwing 102. Yeah, not 65. Ooh, Woo. Right Got ahead. Get ahead, stay ahead. Name of the game. Fuck, ah, Jake. You're all good. You're on him. Let's do it, Jake. You're there, dude. Here you go, Jakey boy. I'm Good definitely going to need a side-by-side -side of nice <laughs> Jake and Pat Nishek. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good call. We have the best editors in the biz. I'm sure nice they'll pitch, find Jake. him. Nishek was an all-star one year. Sure. I can see a breaking ball here. Oh, just missed the inside corner. It's three and one. Go at him, go at him, go at him. Tell you what, there is the beginnings of, of a decent pitching tournament for Jake here. If he can just throw off a few more strikes. There it is. Working the, God, he's just eaten inside. I love it. He is. He needs to, I don't want to see him waste the pitch here. He needs to go at Jack this pitch right now and get yeah. it done. I don't want a 4 2 count. This guy. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Stay here. Stay on him. Jake, everything in on Zoe. This job's not done, Rosie. Look at this pitch. Yeah. Back to back dot jobs on the outside corner to freeze Jack Doyle. And Story Ali, who had an ERA north of eight and a half last season, well above his career marks, is back. This is the hardest part. The third out. You've just got to keep the foot on the gas. Ooh. There's a different intensity about Jake this year. Wow, listen, these guys are embarrassed. Let's call it what it is. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry, Zoe. I wouldn't even give Zoe another hit. Nothing? Nothing. He already went deep for the, I guess, the fictitious Grand Slam. Hit a missile up the middle, oh. lost a bat. There you go, Jake. Yeah. He didn't throw good pitches to him. I think if it ever gets to the point where there's bases loaded and he has to pitch to him, then he can save the better stuff. Oh, I still nice can't. Pitch. Like, this is one of the greatest narratives in the history of this building. Nice pitch. So in Blitzball Battle 1, I mean, he could barely get the ball past the pitcher's no mouth. Pitches, no <laughs> and now he's one of the most dangerous sticks alive. No it is incredible. Kids, keep working at it. If you suck in Little League right now, dare to dream. Be the next so. I am very impressed with the grooming of the beard, too. No cookies. Is that a strike? Oh, you, Jake. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. It was a strike. Yep. Perfect pitch. 64. Just the outside. Obviously, if you can do that a couple more times, you're in business. Ooh, oh, great just spot. a little low. Hey, it's not the worst thing no. to walk hey, Zoe no. with Jack Doyle in the Mountain Dew on deck circle. But, I mean, Zoe's going to be aggressive too, so you can maybe get into expand. I would like up and in right now, not down and in. They've seen down, they've seen away, up and in. Up and in, okay. Ball hit, tap, O'Brien's got it, and we Whoa. are off to extra innings. No way. A remarkable second frame for Baggage. They put five on the board and hold We Got Ice scoreless. Madness in the warehouse in game one of Blitzball Battle 5. So we are off to extra innings, which isn't technically an inning. It's a hit off, if you will. So each team will pick one guy to hit and one guy to pitch. And whichever squad gets more total bases ends up winning the game. Incredible. I love the rules. I love it. And I love the fact that Jimmy's coming in with the three at-bats that he's had leading into this. I love that there's so many questions right now. After that first inning, I thought this game was over. Mm -hmm. Now the big question is, Who's pitching for We Got Ice? That is it's the Jack question. Doyle that's got the ball. 
What, what do you think? This I, has not been the Jack Doyle that won those two Cy Youngs. If he's had a chance to take a breath, maybe take a minute, get the, the nerves to calm hey, down just a bit. The velo was the problem last time out. Hey, and every time he was able to dial it back, like Jimmy it. Made, made work of it. There are no walks here in the extra frame. It's only single, double, homer, or out. Again, velo. Here you go, Jimbo. And what the no walk extra inning rule does allow the batter to do is be much more selective, right? You're not chasing anything. You're looking one area, feeling good. Takes a little bit of pressure off of you. Oh! What about the hit by pitch rule? Here you go, lock in. Don't ask me questions I don't have answers to. Oh, that's that's a beautiful pitch go. by Doyle. That's the perfect pitch. pitch Top of the velo chart, a lot of movement, but a lot of movement up into the zone. Good eye, good eye. Hey, a little sip of water. Blink a little bit. Unless that water's got Xanax in it, I don't think it's going to help. <laughs> O'Brien trying to give baggage a couple of bases for the lead. And he chased. That's a bad swing, my bad, it's all right. He's down 0-2. Just protect, right. protect. Don't miss high, don't miss high. And now major advantage for Doyle. A lot of the time when you do go to protect mode, it's when you put your best swings on it. Oh, oh. and he looks at strike three. Okay, I got you. What a job by Doyle dialing it in. And now the pressure shifts to Storiali. Against Zoe, surely. So any sort of knock by Zoe and We Got Ice will be a walk-off winner. Cannot pitch around him. You guys only need a single from yeah. Zoe here to win. Are you more confident in Zollup or yeah. Zoe in this moment? I'm confident in Zollup. I already Zollup's more of the home run guy. So maybe I'm not Zollup! No, you're not. You're <laughs> Zoe. I, we just need a little single. A hard, hard ground ball up the middle. It's all he does. So, Or a homer too, I mean. What did you find in the extra innings, pitching-wise, that you weren't finding earlier in the game? Oh, we had no balls, so that helped. I just, I'm two degrees Fahrenheit hotter than I should be, so I, I think I found I'm going to use more of my body. Just got, got a little frustrated in that second inning, but we're, I've got to keep myself more composed and dial it in. It's that second degree, guys. Yeah. I have a question. Yes. How does he measure the oh, temperature? One of those turkey thermometers. How are you measuring the temperature of degrees? Fahrenheit. No, right. What ah, instrument are ah. we using? Uh, instead of in miles per hour, I'm just saying Fahrenheit. Okay, good. <laughs> we are locked in. Thank you. This is my song. All Zoe needs is a single for the walk-off win. Yeah, I don't mind that. Look, Jake, that's fine. Get yourself to where you can get the release point and you can throw three pitches like you did to Jack Doyle in the last inning. Oh, oh hit in the air and fouled away. Oh, very nice catch. Drew Davis, hook line sinkers. We'll see him reunited with old man Dan Canobio for this tournament. Oh, welcome back, Dan. But welcome back, that stash, too. He's going to need to shave a bit of the beard off if we're really going to get to see it. That ball hit! Bang! Yeah, that's over. That'll do it! Oh, he has been crowned the winner! So, with a walk-off knock, we got ice. Dude, you rake. You rake. Two doubles and a homer? You rake. A remarkable comeback by Team Baggage. It was not enough. Blew it in the first. Fuck! I blew it in the first!
Kelsey Wingard is standing by with the hero for We Got Ice. So all you needed was a single there. How did you not allow the pressure to amount to too much and just come through in that moment? I mean, Jack's picked me up in so many games before. I kind of felt like I wanted to win that to give him the confidence that he can have a game where he's not, like, the best player ever and we can still win. Also, Jake is a very ethical at-bat off pitcher, so hats to him. He actually, like, comes at you in the zone, so it's like an actual at-bat, so respect to that. Hey, for you guys, not competing for the Warehouse Cup, but you do have a zero on the board along with baggage. We know that that has to be frustrating for both of you guys, two of the true biggest teams in this tournament. How much pressure are you guys putting on yourselves to at least put up points and not get that skunk patch? Not a ton of pressure. My biggest goal is to make these videos as entertaining as possible for the people to watch, but that comes with winning. So we have to win games, and that's a step. So I, we're going to win this whole tournament. I'm predicting it. Peter Moylan called that. Yeah, Peter told me last night, he goes, I think you guys have had enough time in the warehouse. I was like, really, Pete? Do you think so? <laughs> this is going to be a tournament of tournaments. This is going to be, this, someone's going to stamp their name here that hasn't done it before. I'm calling it right now. There's a lot of improvement from a lot of guys. We've only seen four. There's more to come. For Kelsey Winger, Pete Moylan, and our amazing John Boy Media production team, I am Chris Rose. We will see you for game two. Del Caribe and two-time champion Forgotten Rot. Thanks so much for watching Blitzball Battle 5 presented to you by DraftKings. I think the attitude we're bringing in for this tournament was absolutely zero pressure. I think BB4, we had the most pressure ever on us, and we just laid an absolute sheep egg. A big sheep egg. I mean, I gave up five runs on the mound, so I put us in a, in a hole. Right? We scored zero, we gave up five. Yes. Sucked. Sheeps don't. I don't think sheep lay eggs, so just to clarify that. Goose but, egg. Goose egg, but, but um, no pressure. I want that, uh, what was it, two outs, two runners on. Zoe gave me a fastball away. That That's normally that's normally the honey hole. Uh, so that that one hurts. But, yeah, I mean, we're, we're here. Ice is good. Whatever, man. <laughs> we don't need to get a MVP and a Cy Young Award along the way. We can just win, win games. I played games where I felt like I didn't belong on the – floor for the last three seasons so i hitting wise i feel pretty good That's i'm good. pretty happy with that bye chris rose bye.